What's up guys, how you doing? So just like the title of this video says, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to perform a deadlift, how to do a deadlift. George, stop. The people, are, adults are talking. And a little bit of a full deadlift workout just so that you guys can get an idea of how to get better at it, what I do. So before we get into deadlifting though, um, I'm gonna do cardio. I highly recommend everyone doing cardio, right? No matter if you're bulking or cutting, right? At all, just cause it's healthy in general. So personally, me, Sweet baby Jesus. I do about 30 to 45 minutes of cardio. I watch anime, it's a fun time. George, you're in the camera! Oh my god. Yeah, oh. The menace. So just so y'all know, I'm not capping. Here I am, bike, anime, and then it looks like 45-ish minutes. Um, done with the cardio. Gonna go to the gym. First thing I'm gonna show you guys is a stretching warm-up routine to do that I do for deadlifts. Then we're gonna go into deadlift tutorio and the rest of the workout. Dude, I drove all the way to the gym and forgot my tripod for my camera. I swear, I get stupider as the day goes. Mamas! God, every single every single year I get older, I get stupider. I'm gonna take a tinkle though. Oh, the babies! Oh, big stretches. Oh no, bye, mamas. That is heartbreaking. Holds a holds a special place in my heart, George does. Taking a tactical break, I'm at five, 585 right now. But we have, we are Zin Bros. Ooh, Look at that, Zinskis. little Zinski Bros. Fuck, bro. Fuck. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Strings are a little tight, quads are a little tight, Zin's feeling great. He's looking kind of vascular. Oh. You know, we're feeling great. Looking juicy. We're gonna, you know, maybe pull PR, who cares, who knows. I'm gonna pull PR, but I gotta poop, so. Go poop. I gotta poop. <laughs> couch where I'm gonna do some talking. I have my Zen, I have my coffee makes me poo mug. So we're ready to go. So I just finished my deadlift workout. However, it was a little bit too crowded to talk in there. So I figured I would be showing you the very, very basics on how to deadlift. So if you are a person who just started working out, is a very beginner deadlifter or has no clue how to deadlift, this is the video for you. So first off, what is the deadlift exercise? Deadlift is simply having a bar with weight or even just the bar, grabbing it and picking it up and placing it down. So there are two types of deadlifts. There is the conventional, which is the one I just showed you, and there is the sumo deadlift, whereas when you spread your legs, you will have your hands between your legs and you will drive up. Right now we are just talking about the conventional deadlift because it's the easiest to learn, it is the most basic, and everyone should start off with conventional. First thing we're gonna talk about is foot placement and feet. 
So the first thing you need to know is ditch the shoes. We need to see them dogs, have them dogs hanging out, right? Because when you deadlift, you want a flat surface. You do not want to be deadlifting in Jordans or anything like that, anything that can make you unstable. You want to have a stable surface. So anything where you have deadlift shoes, wrestling shoes, vans, or barefoot. I personally like barefoot. That's my favorite, so that's why I go to. You will be pretty much shoulder width apart. Your hands will grab the bar right outside of your feet. To start the movement, you are going to grab the bar, take a deep breath in, lower your hips, tighten up your back, keep it straight, and then drive through your feet and finish with your back. Simple as that. This is what it's gonna look like from the side. You are going to feet shoulder width apart, Hands right outside of your feet, right here. You're gonna take a dig, big deep breath, tighten up your core from the front and the back and the sides, almost like you're wearing a belt. Tighten up, drop your hips slightly till you're right here and then drive up. You see a lot of people when they pull, they let their back round and they do that. That is where you're gonna get hurt. We don't want no cat back. That's what I call it. It's like George Jr. just spazzing out. No cat back, all right? Now, on to everyone's favorite cheater movement, the sumo deadlift. I love it because I can lift a whole lot of weight on it. Sumo deadlift, we're gonna get the same exact steps. Foot placement. This is gonna depend on their flexibility, the length of their legs, whatever. I'm gonna show you what I do. I go where I'm comfortable. That's where you should go. If you're learning sumo, go where you're comfortable. Some people may start off Right here, that's okay. Once you get used to it, you can spread your legs a little bit more. Your toes, but slightly pointed out. Once again, this changes from individual. I know people that go right here and they're super good. Just depends on what feels comfortable for your body. Second, we're gonna bend down, grab the bar, and then we're gonna follow the same steps. Raise the hips, take a big deep breath, pull the shoulders back, and drive. And what you're gonna notice on a sumo deadlift, when you're off the floor, you're already upright. Your chest is upright a lot more which makes you be able to lift more weight, it's less range of motion, you're in a better position. So, the goal of this, this whole entire sumo deadlift, is to get your hips close to the bar, get that body upright, drive. Some very, very small cues that people mess up. I'm sure you may or may not have heard of pull the slack out of the bar. The slack is this banging sound that you hear when you pull the bar slightly up. On a very stiff bar like this, this is what's gonna happen. You don't just wanna yank, because you can even see, even with just 135, if I yank, it throws me out of position a little. So, if I go in position, pull that slack out of the bar, it's seamless, it's smooth. Those are the basics of the sumo deadlift. I will show you what it looks like from the side. Mother trucker. <sighs> Foot placement, get your feet placed. Bend slightly down, grab the bar. Rise those hips. You're going to pull the slack out of the bar right here as you're holding a breath. And once you're here, drive up. Once you get to here, lock out. Simple as that. That is the very, very basics of the deadlift. Since I don't compete right now, I'm fine with using straps. If you have trouble holding the weight and don't have straps, what you can do, instead of doing two hands like this, you could do, it's called a double or a over under. So you're doing one hand over, one hand under, grip it. It's gonna help your grip a whole ton because the bar will not slide. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I know it's kind of a little bit all over the place, but what I was showing you was the very, hi George. Uh, I was showing you the very, very basics of the deadlift, how to do a conventional, how to do a sumo, very basic. None of this stuff is rocket science, just where to place your feet, where to place your hands, how to brace your core, take a big deep breath, Tighten up so your back straight, lock in your arms and pull up. I showed you how to do sumo. Like I said, everyone's feet are gonna be in different positions. You just gotta do what's comfortable for you. Take time to learn the movement. You're not just gonna be able to go into sumo and yank up a ton of weight. When I first switched to sumo, I was actually weaker than my conventional, shockingly, even though it's a cheater deadlift. Uh, but I still do it because it's fun. Um, but, and then I told you just some extra little things you could do, extra little training things you could do to help you know, get some variation, help increase your deadlift. Like I said, if there's one thing I could tell you would be to not max out every single time. I'm still guilty of it because I just want to lift heavy. You got to be patient, work on your base core strength, and then I promise you, your top deadlift will increase. So I hope you all enjoyed this. 
Once again, I know it's all over the place, but if you do, like and subscribe. I really appreciate it, and I will see you in the next one. Leave a comment on what you enjoyed, what you didn't like, what you want to see next. So, peace. George also says bye.